Parasitic Respiratory Infection What is this, and how do you treat it? Parasitic respiratory infections affect the lungs and respiratory systems. The infections can come from water, insect bites, food, and sexual contact. The parasites succeed in getting to the lungs. They then grow and reproduce, making breathing difficult. There are different types of parasitic infections. In mild cases, you might be able to fight the infection on your own. In serious cases, however, you require medical treatment and the use of prescribed medication to kill the parasites and their eggs. Parasites in the lungs. Several types of parasites can infect the lungs. A common parasite in the United States is paragonomyasis. Is paragonomyasis. It enters the body through undercooked crabs and crawfish. It takes about 6 to 10 weeks to develop and cause symptoms in the lungs after consumption. Another parasite is the Ascariasis, which is a roundworm found in dirt and soil. Humans get this parasite from undercooked meat and unwashed vegetables. Young children can also get this parasite by putting dirty hands in their mouths while playing outdoors. Bilharzia is another parasite found in fresh water. Humans get this parasite while swimming or boating, and it affects the lungs, liver, spleen, brain, and other organs. Parasitic pneumonia. Can pneumonia be caused by parasites? Yes. Pneumonia can be caused by parasites, although it is a rare case. It occurs in immunocompromised persons, that is, in people with weakened immune systems. Pulmonary strongyloidiasis is a rare parasitic lung infection that causes parasitic necrotizing pneumonia. Areas of the world with a high level of parasite infections are where this type of pneumonia is usually found. Symptoms The symptoms vary on the parasite involved. Symptoms of the paragonimus include diarrhea, fever, stomach pain, chest pain, fatigue, dry cough, Lung symptoms of ascariasis include wheezing, persistent cough, shortness of breath, and coughing up worms two weeks after symptoms start. Symptoms of bilharzia are rashes, headaches, difficulty breathing, pain all over the body, and fever. Other clinical presentations include loss of appetite, myalgia, sputum productive cough, and hemoptysis, among others. Diagnosis a physical examination and a discussion of your symptoms will be part of the diagnosis. After that, your doctor will probably ask for a sample of your stool or phlegm. The sample will be tested for evidence of parasites like worms or their eggs. A definitive diagnosis is based on the demonstration of eggs in sputum samples or lung biopsy specimens. Eggs are usually present two to three months after infection. Eggs or adult worms can also be seen in a subcutaneous lump or aspirated pleural effusion. In some cases, imaging tests such as x-rays are done to see if there has been any damage in the lungs or respiratory system. Treatment Treatment normally involves a course of prescribed medication to kill the parasites and their eggs. Medications to manage pain and other symptoms will be given also. The medications include antricyabendazole. These drugs are anthelmintic and are used to eliminate flukes from the body. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.